Hello everyone, I'm Randy Suarez, aka Supercode Terry Rebecca with another amazing reaction. Y'all voted, y'all wanted me to react to some David A. Arnold. Sadly, this is the only long video from like comedian standpoint that I found of his that is on his channel. Because he sadly passed away back in 2022 of September. Uh, he has two Netflix specials on Netflix, again, on Netflix. And he wrote for shows like House of Pain and meet the browns among other shows as well now that being said if you like any of this content please like comment and subscribe to my channel i will leave the original link to this video down below in the, in the description to go watch it uninterrupted also i've been reacting to murder drones y'all voted for that too and uh whew, i'll leave that uh, playlist down below so you can watch those of uh, my reactions to that uninterrupted also, follow me on tick, uh, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. You can follow me on those social platforms. A link to my cash show is down below. If you feel gracious enough to donate $5, 10 $15, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine as well. But for the buckle up and let's get started. All right, Mr. David A. Arnold, RP, what you got for me, man? Me and my wife different. She's very, oh my God, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't do nothing to right. We got kids, we raise kids completely <laughs> different. You know what I'm saying? I, I never wanted to put people out so early in my life. <laughs> you understand? That 13 year old, I got two, 11 and 13, Anna Grace. I'm t when I tell you, I'm about to, she gonna catch it in the face. I swear. <laughs> and here's the weird, um, raising kids, now looking at it, because I don't have kids, I at least like a kid, but looking back, look on it now, how things are now. It's like, oh, things are a bit different, you know, compared to how I was raised and everything. So, <laughs> I've never seen nobody. What what happens to girls at thirteen that you lose your f mind? What happened? They become very disrespectful. Uh, don't care about authority. Uh, can't their emotions comes out of nowhere, so you can't tell me what to do. Uh, how I know all know this. I was raised. I have sisters. Uh, I have seen it play out. I also have nieces. I have seen it played out. So yeah, that was it, it. Was it's a weird thing to see, but at the same time, like, like oh, guys go to through adolescence too. Yeah, but man, I don't know what <laughs> what just snaps in with some some of the ladies when they're teenagers. But they, it's like, yo, tell me what to do. Slam. Like when she, I put her to bed one day, she was a regular 12 year old little girl. Right? I said, Good night, Anna Grace. Good night, Daddy. She went to bed. She came downstairs at 13. What? Huh. Maximum volume. Oh, I think just the audio. Attitude. Oh. All hers is like, Yeah, 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 yeah. I said, what the stressed out. What's going on in seventh grade that's got you worn out? <laughs> Everything in here is free. What? so nervous <laughs> I went to my wife I said what's wrong with these kids my wife looked at me and went, eh, 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 eh. I said oh you're all crazy okay <laughs> all of them Every, Ashlyn my, my 11 year old Ashlyn is the most honest kid I'll ever meet because Ashlyn tell the truth about everything it makes me uncomfortable to be honest with you I mean I was a liar coming up as a kid I lied all my sentences started with I didn't do it all my sentences <laughs> Ashlyn, she don't, she don't. The weird part, the, the weirdness of this is, my stepmother didn't like the words "I don't know," because as a kid, of course we get into a lot of mischief and everything, but you clearly don't know what's going to happen. So she did not like the answer of "I don't know" when something happened. I was no either I was there or I wasn't there. She still didn't like the answer. I don't know. So why? When she, hey, what happened to so and so? I don't know. Why you don't? Why you don't know? Cause I wasn't there, or I didn't know that was going to happen. So, and she got so heated. And I'm like, I how, how am I supposed to know about this? <laughs> I'm about everything. The other day I came downstairs, just icing, butt cake poured around the top. All the icing gone, dug out, tall, just around the top. Her fingers, her little fingers, just. I called her to Ashley. Come here. Did you eat all the icing <laughs> off the cake? I'm expecting a lie. She looked at me and went, "Yes, I did." <laughs> 
I said, why would you do that? She said, well, that's the only part I like. What about the rest of us that like icing? I'm supposed to eat a piece of icingless cake? She said, if you don't want any, don't have any. <laughs> what the, the disrespect. The, uh, the honesty and the disrespect. If you don't want any, you don't have any. <laughs> I said, God damn, what? My wife came downstairs five minutes later, saw the cake, looked at me, and went, who ate all the icing off the cake? I said, Ashlyn. She said, so I'm supposed to eat a piece of ice on this cake? I said, if you don't want any, don't have it. <laughs> she cut a piece of ice on this cake, we both sat our ass down and ate ice on this cake. That's right. <laughs> My biggest fear is being sent to the nursing home. You understand? <laughs> Let me tell you something. All y'all who got kids and you be whooping them and talking crazy to them, these is the people mm -hmm. that decide when and if your ass go to the nursing home. You understand? You ain't gonna always be out here drinking and chasing ass and doing what you do. <laughs> One day somebody gotta make a decision whether to roll you in front of a window and leave you for eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to the nursing home. My wife, she going to the nursing home. <laughs> we already know she going, we prepared for it. You understand? Because I'll never forget the day my oldest decided she was going to the nursing home. Her and Anna Grace was arguing about a popsicle, right? My wife said, you can't have no popsicle. She said, I want one. She said, you can't have no popsicle. Most of the time, Anna Grace would fall out. This time, she collected herself. Like she knew something we didn't know. <laughs> and she looked at my wife and went, really? Cool, cool. <laughs> 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 really? <laughs> I remember when my I had this conversation with my sister. Um a little let's say her and my her and my stepmother, her mother got into a confrontation and got to a point that she was about to swing hands. But before she did before she did, she collected herself and said, You know what? I'd rather move out. Cause if I have to put my hands on my mom this still won't be worth it. I'd rather move out. And that on that day, the next day, she moved out. You know? Uh, it's one of those things that if it comes to that point of to throwing hands with your parents, just leave. Just leave. Call someone that is willing to take you in and leave. I said, God damn. I said, did you see what just happened? She said, what? I said, you're going to the goddamn nursing home. <laughs> Out your mind. I said, I'm telling you right now, when the men in white come to drag you out of here 50 years from now, I'm like, oh, David, help. I'm like, no, woman, she had the popsicle in 2018. <laughs> I got the popsicle. I'm like, here you go, Anna Grace. You remember who gave you the popsicle? <laughs> These kids. Uh, oh, man. Again, you can watch all of this on Netflix. There's two comedy specials. The dude is funny. And it sucks that he passed away. He passed away on natural causes, based on what I read and everything. And it was to learn that he, that he that he passed. You know, uh, back in 2022, to learn that I learned the day after he passed that he. I'm like, oh. and one of my I was talking to my um my friend, my roommate's uh, mom about it because she she and her I got said in the beginning went to go see him the months prior, you know. But I kind of wish I did, you know, saw him at the comedy, uh, at the Houston Improv. I wish I did. So, I digress. But if you like any of this content, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I will leave the original link to this video down below in the description to go out to uninterrupt it. And, um, oh man. Also, link to my Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Um, you can follow me on those social platforms. Also, link to my Cash App. If you feel gracious enough to donate 5 10 $15, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine as well. And let me know in the comments of what comedian should I react to next. One requested Sarah Silverman, so I might, you know, checking her out when I get a chance. But uh, yeah, to next time, please take care of yourself. Stay hydrated, stay safe, stay warm. Peace out. Little questions is everything they know about you.